What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to set up e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics for your WordPress WooCommerce store. So let's get right into it. For those of you listening, I'm gonna do my best to describe this. For those of you watching, check out my screen. So I'm in Google Analytics, I'm in the admin section. It's where the gear icon is. And then it slides out and you're gonna go over to the far right hand view column that says view and you're gonna click e-commerce settings. You're gonna make sure that the two little sliders that say e-commerce reporting and enable e-commerce enhanced reporting are turned on. You're gonna also download a plugin called the Google Analytics plugin for WooCommerce. And then you're gonna upload that plugin to your WordPress site by going, logging in as the admin, going under plugins, and then just drag over the zip file into the choose file and click install now. It'll take a couple seconds and once that is uploaded to your WordPress admin panel, you're gonna activate it, click the blue activate plugin button. And then after that's activated, you're gonna go under WooCommerce settings over on the left hand side of your main navigation menu, you're gonna go to WooCommerce and then settings. And then uh, you're gonna see a tab over on the right hand side that's called integration. You're gonna click integration and then uh, you're gonna paste your Google Analytics UA number. UA stands for universal analytics number. This can be found by toggling back over into the property section of the Google Analytics admin panel. And under property settings, just copy and paste your UA number. Then you're gonna set your domain name, type in your domain name under the set domain name section. And you are going to check the enable universal analytics. Make sure that the purchase transactions, add to cart events, enable enhanced e-commerce, remove from cart events, product impressions from listings are all checked. All those boxes are checked. The product detail views and the checkout process initiated. Those are all steps in the, e in the enhanced e-commerce tracking process in Google Analytics. And once you save your plugin settings in WordPress, you're all set. Then after about 24 to 48 hours and, and your first purchase, you're gonna be able to go under your Google Analytics account, go under acquisition on the left-hand side, and then under acquisition, you are going to see all traffic, click all traffic and then channels. And then once the data starts flowing, you're gonna be able to see over on the right-hand column under conversions, e-commerce conversion rate, transactions, and revenue. This is critical to your data-driven marketing strategy. For more digital marketing tips for free, go to dataoveropinions.com or pick up our Alexa flash briefing skill by going to datadrivendaily.com. You can support the Data Driven Daily tip by going to support.datadrivendaily.com. And if you really want to get together and talk digital marketing or web design and how we might be able to help each other out, email me at paul at datadriven.design. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Thanks and have a great day.